Assalamu alaikum my name is Ijaz Ali Biotic Boy today i am going to show you how to find exon and intron in a gene so today we will first go to in the website which is ensemble genome browser just search in the google ensemble.org or ensemble genome browser After searching, then click on the genome, uh, ensemble genome browser, and there is uh, you can see many tools: um, Biomart, Blast, Variant uh, Effect, Predator. All these are tools in this website. So first of all, you will select a species. What uh, species is in your research? There is all the vertebrates. This website have all the gene sequence, uh, genomic variations, and transcriptional regulation of many vertebrates. So, select species. I search human gene. Uh, for example, I will search a gene which is LRAT. This is a gene which is localized in the endoplasmic reticulum. But it, it, it catalyze the estrification of all trans retinol into all trans retinol eastern so when you search a gene there is uh, at the top you can see lrat human gene so click your gene of interest where you what you search a gene these are all the restrict categories you can find through here and click on the gene I searched this gene and you will uh, see this interface these genes have uh, a description all the details about their genes are in here in this interface so I am going uh, to this is the description is uh, lithium retinol is a transferase in enzyme this is the LRAT gene which encode this enzyme and gene syndrome means other name of their genes is there and location is it is uh, located in the chromosome number four start from that region and in from that region in from 154753120 this and it is in the power strain uh, in power strain these genes are localized it's mean in the positive uh, yeah positive strain yeah plus strain you can also call plus strain or power strain so uh, now Now I am uh, find the sequence of their gene. Just uh, create a new tab of this sequence. It will show you all the sequence of their gene. It's the Markov sequence. These are the sequence, and where the shaded form is all in exon this region. It's mean that the exon of their genes are in their shaded region not a specific exon are this but the exon region are in here i will show you how to find the specific exon region in this sequence now uh, uh, first of all you need to find and this is in the pasta parameter of their gene now open the transcript id the new tab and CCDS this two IDs are open in a new tab you will in 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 transcript ID you open you will see here in exams so click on that exam you will see the exam region and intro exam and intron of their gene here so you can see there are 
three eggs on. Uh, this will see the transcript has three eggs on. You can see here. And this is the exam number one, and then entron, and exam number two, and then entron, and exam number three. So now, in the up uh, upstream sequence, in the uh, downstream sequence, are in the bottom in the uh, this gene, which is located in the chromosome number eleven. Now. To find the exon region of uh, of their gene, I open CCDS a Uniprof uh, NCBI website. The specific gene sequence, nucleotide sequence, and amino acid sequence is all the description about that uh, gene, which is located the chromosome number. It is in the positive strand, plus strand in chromosome number four now this is uh, in the below there is nucleotide sequence there are six entry nucleotide and translation 230 amino acids which is here now i want to know the specific exon region in the in that uh, region of uh, in this website where is an intron in exon so i a uh, copy some nucleotide sequence it's control c and then control f to find here that's nucleotide sequence here control v so you can see here the first exon start from here the exon start from here in this region and uh, uh, in the end of that uh, I copy some in nucleotide sequence in the end and here is the end of that gene is here so the gene is in that side so all these genes having three exon which is here you can see so the specific exon and intron uh, in a genes are there and one thing you need to know that every in human every and trans start from GT and end from AG. Every exon and tron of a human gene in human gene is start from GT and end from AG. You need to remember this. If any change in this sequence, there is, there is some abnormalities of that sequence. Now let's uh, take uh, another example of to find exon or intron in a gene. I first select a species human there is another example uh, of a gene so I search SGCB gene SGCB gene is a sarcoglyne beta these genes provide instruction for making beta component of group of proteins called sarcoglyne complex what is this wrong in this gene oh sorry there is sbc it's sgcb the gene name is sgcb circoglyne beta the internet speed is too slow so it's too loading now is this the result is sgcb human gene click on that gene in this sequence open new tab of sequence and this all the description of their genes look at in the chromosome number four and it's in the reverse strain that's mean it's in the negative strain of the uh, chromosome 
and these are the uh, total gene where the first exon located here where it's shaded now open the transcript id and ccds after that you will click on the exon there is so there are six exon and then exon click on exon so we know that there are six exon in that gene and this is the ncbi specific nucleotide sequence 957 nucleotide and 318 amino acid in that gene so after clicking in exon so there are exon and electron in a gene so they have sex exon which is the upstream sequence exon 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now uh, to find the specific region of exon in that region So you can see that there is also a trans start from GT and it from AG. You need to remember this and copy some nucleotide sequence from that region. Control C and to find here, Control F and Control V. So you can see that i take some letter sequence which can be inserted so control mm. so you can see here the first sequence or intro the first sequence of that exam start from here a d g which is a start code on code permit you need and i can control f and here with the, so you can see that here is the first exon star form so this is the exon region but the specific exon site is here in exon number first hope you like and learn something thanks for watching this is my first informative video so it's too boring but for me it's a practice i'm practicing here and uh, showing you how to do something in bioinformatics or in informatics tools so it's maybe helpful for you thank you